So this video is all about the energy balance equation. So if you're working towards your level three nutrition exam, then this is designed especially for you. So basically a lot of people get confused with the energy balance equation. They think that the only thing in is food and drink, which actually is correct, but they also think that the only thing out is exercise and that I'm afraid is just not correct. There are a couple of other things that we need to think about. So let's break it down, make things nice and simple. And the, the key point really here is energy expenditure. So let's have a look at this. You've probably seen this in your manual if you've been working off of a manual. So drink and food is definitely the area where we get calories. This is the area where we intake energy, where energy goes into our bodies. Then we do stuff with it and we, as a result, are able to then expend energy. Now, these three things make up energy expenditure. Now, energy expenditure is not as straightforward as energy intake. And a lot of people think it is just physical activity that is used and that contributes to energy expenditure. And that's just not right. So, it, for example, it wouldn't work that I ate 2,000 calories a day, but in order to stay balanced, I had to do 2,000 calories of exercise. So if you ever look at your Fitbit, for example, and you notice that you have burned 3,000 calories today on exercise, you need to make sure your drink and food far outweighs that just to maintain the weight that you have. And the reason for that is because you also use calories in the basal metabolic rate and the thermic effect of food. Now, these two things are really, really key. Okay, so the basal metabolic rate is basically what it takes to get your body moving and working. So this is based on your basic functions of your body. So for example, imagine you are laying in a hospital bed and you literally do nothing. And I mean nothing, you don't even eat for a whole day or a couple of days. You are just then operating off of your BMR and that BMR means the amount of energy it takes for you to lay down, so that's no activity, and no food digestion, just to lay down and do nothing, nada. And that will take a certain amount of, of calories. And that is different per person, and you work out your BMR using a mixture usually of height, uh, of, of age, sorry, and of weight. Now, some people also have a benefit of being able to use fat percentage in there as well. There's a couple of different equations, and I'll save that for another video. But BMR is basically your basal metabolic rate and that BMR is your what it takes to be able to hold your metabolism to do absolutely nothing not even digest food now because we digest food that also consumes calories and contributes to our energy expenditure now this is what we call the thermic effect of food so that's the second one here thermic effect of food now this is the calories that we can that we use when we're digesting the food that we have eaten. So this is supposed to account for six to 10% of our energy expenditure for, for men and about six to seven for women. So it's actually um, quite a substantial amount. So everything else is only gonna be minor. But if you take food in, it's, it's work for your body to then digest that and process it and get it out and also you convert that to the energy that we need to use. So it's important to think of these three things. So you've got physical activity, which I generally sum up as activity. So you've got an A. Then you've got basal metabolic rate. So but remember this is B or BMR if you want to. And then you've also got thermic effect of food. Now, this one I think is easier to say is just thermic. That's perfect. And I rearrange them so it spells BAT. So I remember that BAT is my energy expenditure. B for BMR. A for your activity and T for your thermic effect of food. So rearrange them and in goes drink and food and then out of it in terms of your energy expenditure is BAT. Basal metabolic rate, activity and thermic effect of food. Three really important points. So make sure that you consider them in your exam. It's pretty likely that in a nutrition exam it will ask you about what, the, what can contribute towards energy expenditure. Now, just to kind of summarize all of that and give it a little bit of context, it shows it in relation to a scale. Can you see this on here, this kind of image that is showing? It's using it on a scale. 
Now the reason for that is because it's the energy balance equation. So you need to be able to know that as well. Now if our energy intake is equal to our energy expenditure, then we're going to maintain the weight that we're at, full stop. If we have less energy intake than we do energy expenditure, so that means our calories in are less than our calories out via all three types, that then means that we're going to lose weight. So kind of obvious, it doesn't stipulate what muscle fiber, what muscle tissue that's from, or fat, or water loss, doesn't stipulate where it's from, but we will lose physical kilos, physical weight. If it's there for the other way around, whereby the energy intake is actually higher, so we consume more calories than we burn, or that our body burns via basal metabolic rate, or that we burn via consuming foods, so that's our BAT, BMR, your activity, and also your thermic effect of food, so those three things, remember, then we will gain weight, okay? Nice and simple. So that's what we mean, what is meant by the energy balance equation. So when it talks about that in your exam, that's the area that it's looking for you to, to think about. So think about those three areas. If you have any questions or any comments, pop them below. I really love hearing your questions. It allows me to kind of do more of these great videos for you. Hit like, do a little thumbs up, that'd be great as well. And if you're watching this on YouTube, then please do subscribe or check out our little playlists so that you're able to sort of watch a series of videos from us as well. So I will see you on the next video, I'm sure, but if you have any questions, pop them in the comment box below. Take care.